Okay, so let's talk about introductions. Um, they're pretty straightforward. Um, you start obviously with your basic tacker, title, author, contention, arguments. Okay, title, underline the titles. Um, make sure you are underlining them every single time. Um, you do need to write them out in full the first time, um, but after that you can shorten them to 7SOG, TLM, whatever, that's fine. Um, but you still need to underline them. Um, also, if you're doing seven stages of grieving, you definitely need to write seven stages of grieving with the number seven, as in, okay, well, that was backwards, whatever. Um, you need to write the number seven, um, not the word seven. Um, the main reason for that is because, well, the text does it. So um, if they're doing it, you have to do it. Again, Molly's just chilling out, just having a good time. Uh, they're all in here at the moment, so you can hear lots of foot, foot uh, steps, that's why. Um, so <laughs> we've got uh, the titles. You also need to mention the authors or directors. Um, no. uh, the authors and directors. Now, Seven Stages of, of Grieving has two um, authors, um, so make sure that you mention both of them. You can't just mention one, you must mention both. Um, every time you're kind of talking about the author. Um, so when you're doing seven stages of grieving, make sure that you say Deborah Mailman and Wesley Enoch. Um, okay, now two of them are, are fighting over who gets to be in the camera. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, um, so... <laughs> enough, enough, enough. Guys, enough, enough. All right, so um, you've got to have your contention. Um, make sure you mention Deborah Malman and Wesley Enoch. Um, you can say their first, you can say their full name the first time, and then after that, you can just say Enoch and, and Malman. That's totally fine. Um, contention, you've already got easy peasy. Slip it in there. Give it a bit of a buff. Make it, make it fancy. Um, and your arguments. One thing about your arguments, try not to make them sound like a grocery list, okay? Um, try and blend them together a little bit. So maybe put two of them in one sentence together um, and then one in, in another sentence, okay? Um, your intro is probably about four-ish sentences. It's not long. It's not really worth a tell of a lot. Um, I mean, you need it. It's essential. It's a bit like, you know, an, you know, a an S component. Um, you've got to have it, but at the same time, it's not going to, you know, it's it's not it's not a uh, you know thing that gets you loads of points. Um, so you don't want to spend loads and loads of time on it. You want it to be good, short, sharp. Move on. Speaking of moving on, let's. All right. So this is my sample introduction move me okay um now each time you see these kind of red words the red words are me referring back to the question touching the question um so as you can see i'm doing it really really frequently um and the main reason for that is because obviously every time i mention um you know words in the keywords in the question or synonyms for the keywords in the question so implying the question without actually using their direct words um, I'm kind of you know giving a little wave to the examiner and going hey I'm answering the question see 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 how this is relevant um, so it's not only good for you to keep you on task but it's also good for the marker who is obviously really just kind of skim reading your piece they want to know that you're answering the question so make it easy for them so um, I start off with my, um, my contention in the pink. The profound impact of memories on both an individual and a, and a community is explored in both the longest memory and seven stages of grieving. This is done primarily, but not exclusively, through the characters of colour. Okay, now, so what I'm doing is just kind of introducing and saying, yes, I agree that memories, sorry, dog butt shoving my camera, um, memories um, do impact characters, 
Okay, I'm just saying, yes, I agree with the question. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of um, comparison. So I say, despite obvi obvious differences in contexts, playwrights Deborah Mailman and Wesley Enoch and author Fred Daguerre, okay, assert through their texts that people can be restrained from moving forward due to the memories of their past. Okay, there's argument number one. Moreover, they show that emotional suffering can come as a result of intergenerational trauma from the pain of the collective memories of their ancestors. However, Daguerre and Mailman and Enoch do show that memories, both individual and collective, can provide a sense of comfort and strength to vulnerable people. Okay, so I just present those three arguments. I'm done. Okay, not overly long. I've got a little bit of showy language, not too much. Please don't overbear us with, you know, fancy language. Sprinkle it like pepper so that we can enjoy it um, rather than you kind of just word vomiting us because, you know, it's not an enjoyable experience to read and you'll also misuse words when you're kind of trying to overdo it. Okay, so there's your introduction. See you in the paragraphs.